Yeah, we from the north, baby, the cold made me I know you can't get enough of me, been up lately Took you down inside my old Honda, you upgraded Won't leave my ass alone, but I can't give you love, baby It's just for the night, I won't see you tomorrow Me and gang been sipping something strong for these sorrows I work as long as it takes, I won't borrow My last to made me a mess and left me hollow So now my heart's in my body bag I'm in the mood to go and hurt somebody, yeah Baby, you know I'm only the one Then tell you move along I don't wanna stay too long Cause I'm with y'all It's my heart's in my body bag Yo, what's going on with you YouTube Jumpin' and Chris here? We're coming back at y'all with another vid and we have here today. Bam, that's right. And these are the Air Jordan 4 Nike SB collab, the perfect collab out there. And they did things a little different. I did dissect this and was like, all right, what's the difference between a SB Air Jordan 4 and a regular Air Jordan 4? First thing, so if you want to do some comparison real quick. Thing I noticed is that the SB, it feels a tad lighter. This feels a lot more solid. You know, uh, I did hear that they did take the airbag out of the midsole. I'm not sure if that's true or not, because I'm not going to cut this up. But that's what I heard, because that way skateboarders can actually feel the board more. And also, too, like around here on the grips of the toe box in the heels is that gum sole ru uh, rubber outsole. So it gives more grip compared to just like a regular... Air Jordan 4, there's no rubber outsoles, outsoles on the toe box, just little stars. Probably be slipping on some skateboards or whatever. So it gives it more grip ability. Like I said, it's a lot more lighter. I did see where my man's moon dust, he did actually fold these things up. He said they're a lot lighter. So, you know, like I said, they probably did that so a lot of skateboards can fill their Air Jordan 4s a little better on the skateboard. The little things too, I did hear they did a little bit more padding as well on the tongue and on the sock liner as well as a little bit thicker and also the tongue is a little bit thicker as well. So just more padding, just on like the SB Dunks, more padding on the tongue on the insole or on the sock liner in the back of the tongue. No little bubble, air bubble on the insole like how like on my SB here, the little air packet, air bubble on the on the insole here a little bit lighter you know not as heavy it feels actually really good like a lot of complaints with air jordan 4 is that it's not very comfortable it's too bulky one thing i'll say is that these are actually pretty comfortable as much as i put it on i haven't walked around and just yet but i did slip it on did it like on feet it's pretty comfortable i must say it's feel like kind of like walking in clouds almost all the extra padding and everything because like you know usually with air jordan 4s they're not the most comfortable so these are pretty comfortable in my opinion. Now, remember guys, these are set to release on two different occasions because uh, March 17th, this weekend, uh, Friday, will be the release for skate shops and then on the sneakers app and other stores, like probably tier zeros and you know, whoever are getting these things are releasing on March 21st. Steve, this is Jordan. No, it's, it's, it's the first Air Jordan 4 collab with SB, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I dig it, man. I can't wait to see what else they're going to come out with with any different colorways. I did hear rumors of a bread colorway, but I think that's going to be squashed because we're supposed to get reimagined Air Jordan 4 breads coming out next year in 2024. I did hear we're supposed to get the Black Cat SBs, which I think would be pretty cool because the Black Cats right now for regular regular ones that came out in 2020, those things are going for like $1,000 now. These things do retail at $225, which is kind of in my opinion, it's kind of expensive, especially for Air Jordan 4. But I don't think they made that many pairs. Sneakers app did do EA. There was only 15,000 pairs. Uh, I'm going to wait and see whatever, how many they're going to drop on the Sneakers app. Like I said, a couple of skate shops, probably some tier zero stores are getting the are getting these. But I don't know if they're going to be like you know, everywhere. I think these things are going to be pretty limited, just like how every other SBs are out there. But hey, let's just go ahead. Let's get into this review real quick, huh? All right, all right, all right. Let's take a quick little 360 of these things. And I'll say, man, these are kind of nice. So I'll say is the box. The box is this whole, the box is this glossy, kind of like cell color. And you get that gray flight jump, man. And on the side of the box here, you do have the collaboration of Jordan brand and Nike SBs on the box. Now let's go with the shoe. And I must say, man, quality, quality is actually looking pretty nice 
The leather material on the toe box to the side panels is actually pretty nice and tumbled and soft, I might add. This is like the sill white colorway. Got your green eyelids on the side here. The netting, you got that rubber netting on the side as well. The lace wing out here on the side here, and it's very rubber. It's not like all plastic and hard. It's your suede wrap toe box on the side. Got your green out midsole and also a white midsole. You can see the gum sole popping through on the toe box and on the heels. Got your clear bubble see through through the midsole. And move on the back here, a lot of people, you guys see you got that Nike SB embroidery on the back. Like I said, it's a lot more rubbery, so it's a lot lighter. Like the pull tab here on the back is very light. It's not plastic where sometimes on Air Jordan 4, this kind of cuts you up a little bit because it's kind of harder. Comparison, like this one is a lot harder, a lot more plastic. This one's just very rubberized and it's very light. Move on to the laces here. You had to sell laces. You got that rubber netting onto the tongue as well. And then on the tongue here, red jump man, that green flight, that tag on the top of the tongue. Back of the tongue here, you have that green sock liner on the back of the tongue. It is a thicker uh, tongue as well. And then on back of the tongue, it does says Air Jordan tag. And the sock liner is a lot thicker compared to other Air Jordan 4s. A lot more padding to it. You know, a red insole, which a white Nike Air SB Air. Moving on the outsole here, you guys see it. You got that gum sole on the toe box. You got that gum sole on the heels. You got that red Nike Air logo on. Embroidered in the middle of the midsole here. Like I said, I was, I did hear that they took out the airbags in the middle of the, to of the soles here. Not too sure, I'm not gonna cut this up, so I'm not gonna figure it out. Gum sole, that rubber gum, gum sole on the toe box in the heels for better gripping on your skateboard. Get your outsole, the white of your outsole all nasty and dirty. Make sure you guys get on that drip grip. Use my discount code JUMPERMAN10. It is the best sole protector on the market today. No slippage, no tears, multiple wears. I've worn these at a sneaker event all day and it's still goods to go. So guys, make sure you guys get on that drip grip. Use my discount code JUMPERMAN10. There you guys have it, man. These are the Nike SB Collab Air Jordan 4 Pine Greens. I think that's what they're gonna call them. I know a lot of people are gonna maybe do some comparison to the ones we just got back was uh, earlier this year. It was a women's shoe, the sea foams, you know, and it was basically an all white Air Jordan 4 with a little bit of green, and it's basically the same as this. Obviously, there are some differences. The material wise, this is more of a, I'll say a military colorway almost because it does have the suede on the on the toe box and the sea foams which i don't have anymore it is a women's shoe uh that's more of a fire red four colorway well i think these are a dope shoe the hype is definitely there you know especially with the collab with sb you know people's gonna go crazy on these things um sizing wise i say go about true to size it's really not that much bigger really like there's just some, maybe some extra padding usually with my sbs i'll go about a half size up because the insole's a little bit thicker in the tongue and it just feels a little tight so i usually go about a half size on my sbs well, but with my air Jordan fours i feel like true to size fit pretty fine to me this is a size nine and it's okay i i have tried also a size nine it's a little bit more room but you know i have a more narrow narrow foot so maybe if you're a wide foot you know, you could go about a half size up. But if your foot's more on the narrow side, I think you can go true to size and it'll be just fine. Let's talk about resale wise because as of right now, the resale on these things are kind of crazy. Uh, a little bit before the release, they're touching around high 300s to even low 400s on certain sizes. I think they will kind of sustain around mid 300 range depending on sizes, of course. Probably a bigger size, you can see maybe even high 300s. Smaller size, you can see around low 300s to mid 300s. I'll say about that range. Obviously, we won't know the full until all the releases happen once skate shops drop them and sneakers apps. So, say if you took, if you shook out and got all L's everywhere and you really want these things, I say wait till after people get pairs from sneakers app and see how many pairs are going to be on sneakers. I'm thinking it's going to be at least 100,000 pairs, maybe a little bit less. We'll have to wait and see because usually with SBs, they really don't make that many. So, I think reselling these things are going to hold up a little bit around 300s. You know, it's a collab with Air Jordan 4 and SBs, you know, with the high silhouette and with SBs, I think they're going to stay up. And actually with it being the first Air Jordan 4 SBs, these could actually do some really good numbers in the long run. We'll have to wait and see, man. I know a lot of people are hyped on these things. I think a lot of people are already calling these 
sneaker of the year these are already better than the reimagines like did we just already forget about the reimagines i uh, that's another story but i'm just saying it's a really nice clean shoe i'm glad to have one in my personal collection i do plan on grabbing a couple pair of these things and maybe see what they do they're going to be pretty expensive like you know retail's already at 225 plus tax you're looking at like 250 to 240 out the door depending on where you're at so good luck on these things these will be kind of expensive anyway guys that's pretty much end of the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below. Are you going to cop the, the Air Jordan 4 SBs? Do you like them? Are you going to pass? How you guys feel about the shoe here? And don't forget to follow me on my social media at Chris and IG. Sometimes on Twitter. And don't forget Snapchat. And I'm also on TikTok. Hey, guys. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm Jumpin' Chris. Push.